If you like my YouTube lessons, then you will love my premium English video courses. Click the link below to visit my website where you can watch a free sample English lesson from each course and learn how you can connect with me for one-on-one -on -one lessons together. I would love to help you with your English. Hey, what's up guys? It is awesome to see you all again. My name's Grant, I am an American English teacher, and this channel is all about how you can become a better, clearer, more confident English speaker. Today, we are gonna talk about American curse words. This is actually the second video I've made about this topic. If you haven't seen the first one, you should probably watch that before watching this. I will put a link now. Anyway, in this video, I am gonna teach you guys exactly what some of these common curse words mean and how Americans use them in conversations. You might not want to use these words yourself, but if you want to totally understand American English, it's important that you know what these words mean. This should be a fun lesson. Let's get into it. So obviously this video is going to have some very bad language. So this is your warning. If you don't want to hear any bad language, stop watching now. But we are gonna talk about 10 different ways that Americans use the F word. Let's get started. So first, the word by itself. Fuck as an exclamation, it can be used to show that you're upset, surprised, or angry. Usually this is just something someone would yell out. For example, maybe you hit your toe on a metal table. It hurts, you would say, ow, fuck, that hurts. Then, as a verb, it can also mean to have sex. If you add another word, like a person or a thing, that can be used to show that you're angry or dislike that thing. For example, fuck my math teacher. He gave us homework on Christmas. Or, fuck this party, let's go home. Both of these mean that you are angry or you dislike that thing, the math teacher or the party. Next, what about if you add ing? As an adjective, fucking means that you're upset, surprised, or angry. Pretty similar to the exclamation. If you hit your toes on the table, you could say, I hit my toe on the fucking table. But as an adverb, it means something very different. It means very or extremely. So if it comes before an adjective, it means very, very that adjective. That concert was fucking awesome. It was extremely awesome. Next, as a phrasal verb, to fuck up, it means to make a big mistake. For example, I slept through my alarm and missed my job interview. I'm so upset, I really fucked up. I really made a huge mistake. But if you're talking about a person as an adjective, if a person is fucked up, that means that they are very drunk. Maybe you're leaving the bar, your friend tries to drive home, you know that they're drunk. You would say, give me your keys, man. You're way too fucked up to drive. You're too drunk. It's not safe for you to drive. So the last definition was just about people and drinking. But fucked up can also be used more generally just to mean really bad, terrible, or unfortunate. For example, why did you break up with your girlfriend? 
I discovered she was cheating on me with my best friend. Wow, that's really fucked up. I'm sorry. That's really bad. That situation is terrible. So this word is actually pretty new. It's only existed for a couple of years. A fuckboy, which is usually something that a girl would say about a guy, is an insult for a weird or not cool guy who lies to girls and tries to trick them into having sex with him. He lies, he's sneaky, you can't trust him, and he's weird and not cool. For example, John lied to me. He said I'm the only girl he's interested in, but I saw on his phone he's been texting five other girls. He is such a fuckboy, I'm done dating him. Then, fucked as an adjective, when it's about a person, that means in a very bad situation. But usually it's used for more of a funny situation, not something super serious. But it does mean you're in a bad situation. For example, maybe you're playing the video game Fortnite and five enemies are chasing you. You're definitely going to die. You could say, I am totally fucked. They're going to kill me. Okay, last one. To tell someone to fuck off as an exclamation, that means go away or leave me alone. It's more of a serious way to say that. It shows that you're really angry and you seriously do not want to talk to this person. Maybe a really weird guy tries to talk to you and he's making you uncomfortable. You could say, fuck off, dude. I don't want to talk to you. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have added some interesting new words to your vocabulary today. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and you should totally hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so and hit notifications too so you can get all of my English lessons as soon as they come out. Have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.